midnight of signs and wonders. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we do thank you at this time. We bless your name because we know you have not changed. This night will be a night of power. Amen. A night of wonders. Amen. A night of the supernatural. Amen. I pray you bring all your people out of the place of weakness. And bring them into the place of power in Jesus' name. Break every yoke. Destroy the works of the devil. Make everyone victorious in Jesus' name. Perform your wonders in every life. I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 24. Leviticus chapter 20. Verse 24, but I have said unto you, you shall inherit their land, and I will give it unto you to possess it, a land that floweth with milk and with honey. I am the Lord your God, which have separated you from other people. There we find the promise of the Lord for the children of Israel. And by transfer, we find this promise of the Lord, not just for them, but for the church. He wants us to have a life of signs and wonders. A life of the supernatural and a life of miracles, everyday miracles. In Deuteronomy chapter 11, reading from verse 21, you see the plan of God, the purpose of God, the provision of God that he has for you and for me, for every one of us. Deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 21, that your days may be multiplied. And the days of your children in the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers to give them, as the days of heaven upon the earth. As the days of heaven upon the earth. That means unending days will be yours in Jesus' name. Wonder walking days will be yours in Jesus' name. And the Lord says this is what he's going to do. That the very days of heaven, there's no sickness in heaven, no sickness in your life. No oppression in heaven, no oppression in your life. There's no lack in heaven. There's no lack in your life. There's no limitation in heaven. There will be no limitation in your life in Jesus' name. He says over here that the, what he wants to do, the wonders he wants to perform, the miracles he wants to do in our lives, there will be the days of heaven here on earth. Look at verse 8. Deuteronomy chapter 11, reading from verse 8. Therefore, it shall keep all the commandments which I command you this day, that she may be strong, you'll be strong. And go in and possess the land, whither ye go to possess it. This land you are going to possess in Jesus' name. The promises of God, the goodness of God, the provision of the Lord will be your possession in Jesus' name. Verse 9, that she may prolong your days in the land, which the Lord swear unto your fathers to give unto them and to their seed, a land that floweth with milk and honey. Verse 10, for the land whither thou goest in to possess it is not as the land of Egypt, for whence he came out, where thou sowed thy seed and watered it with thy food as a garden of herbs. But the land whither ye go to possess it is a land of hills and valleys and drinketh water of the rain of 
7, verse 12, a land which the Lord thy God careth for, the eyes of the Lord thy God are always upon it from the beginning of the year even to the end of the year. Amen. Look at that verse 12 again. You need to mark this in your Bible. There are some things you read in the Bible. You just read and then pass over and pass on. But this is telling us that from January till December of this 2013, God will watch over you. God will provide for you. And grace of supernatural things, the Lord will give unto you from the beginning to the very end of the year in Jesus' name. Verse 12 again, it's a land, the land where we're going to live, the land of our possession, the land of prophets and the land of promise. It says it's a land which the Lord thy God careth for. He will care for every day of this year for you in Jesus' name. Every day, every week, every month, all the life you live this new year, the Lord will care for you directly in Jesus' name. The eyes of the Lord thy God are always upon it from the beginning of the year even unto the end of the year. Let that be so in my life, in your life, in our lives together as a whole church in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm, going to, I'm looking at the word of God tonight with you on living in the land of supernatural wonders. Living in the land of supernatural wonders. Living in the land, dwelling in the land, abiding in the land of supernatural wonders. There are some people, they taste miracle once in a while. They go into the land, they come out again. They have it now, they lose it again. They enjoy it for a time, and then after some time, they do not have those supernatural wonders in their lives anymore. But I want to talk on something abiding, something remaining, something permanent, something you enjoy from day to day, from the beginning of the year, even to the end of the year, an abiding blessing. A prolonged blessing, a permanent blessing, a perpetual blessing in our lives. Living in the land of supernatural wonders. Three things we're going to look at. Number one, provision in the land of supernatural wonders. Provision. The provision of the Lord. What has he provided for us? What has he, what has he done for us that I can lay claim to you, that you can lay claim to you and say, see the goodness of the Lord. See the provision of the Lord from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, abiding there, living there perpetually, constantly in that land of supernatural wonders. The provision in the land of supernatural wonders. Number two, power for limitless spiritual wonders. No limit now, limitless limitless on and on and on every area of your life your soul your spirit your body your mind your inner man your family your profession your business your education your career everything limitless limitless supernatural wonders power but limitless supernatural wonders number three your passport to the land of supernatural wonders if you're going to get to another country from your own country of nativity, you need a passport. And you get this passport and then you move on to that place and tonight you are going to have this passport. I said tonight you are going to have this passport to the land of supernatural wonders. And once you enter like this, abundant provision. I said abundant provision. And ultimate supply, supernatural supply, abundant supply in every one of our lives in Jesus' name. Your passport to the land of supernatural wonders. Number one, provision in the land of supernatural wonders. Genesis chapter 22. And remember, every promise we read tonight is yours to claim. Every provision we think about, we read about tonight is yours to possess and you'll possess your possession in jesus name we're looking at genesis chapter 22 verse 8 genesis 22 and i'm reading here in verse 8 here verse 8 says here is isaac asking uh, abraham the father a question and here is what abraham said and abraham said my son 
God will provide himself a lamb for a bunch offering. So they went both of them together. They were going to sacrifice. And Isaac was wondering, Daddy, are we forgetting something? Here is wood. Here is fire. Here is knife. What ram are you going to cut? Where is the lamb for the bunch offering? And then Abraham said, My son, don't worry about that. My son, don't agitate your mind about that. God will provide himself a lamb for the bunch offering. So they went both of them together. There are two ways you can read that verse of scripture. Pay attention now. I'm going to read it first. My son God will provide himself a lamb for a bunch offering. That means the Lord himself will provide. It is, this is not something of man's work. This is not where are we going to find this? Where are we going to find that? He has a thousand rams, a thousand goats, a thousand sheep, a thousand animals on the hills. God himself will provide. Read it the other way now. My son, God will provide himself. Comma, a lamb for a bond offering. God will provide himself. God will provide himself. Himself is going to be the lamb. Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. He provided himself. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and full of truth. He provided himself. He shall bring forth a son. His name shall be Emmanuel God. God's ways house. He provided himself. Thomas said, my Lord and my God. He provided himself. My God will provide himself a lamb for the bond offering. And so they went both of them on together. Look at verse 14 there. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh. As it is said to this day in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. Here we find, eventually God provided. And you may not see it, but God will provide. You may not know where it will come from, but the Lord will provide. In your life, there's a divine provision coming your way in Jesus' name. From now on, you are going to live and abide and dwell perpetually and permanently in the land of spiritual wonders in Jesus' name. Psalm 65, Psalm 65, 65, Psalm 65. We're reading here from verse 9. Psalm 65, verse 9. This promise is yours. I said this blessing is yours. You will not miss it in Jesus' name. Thou visited the earth and waterest it. Thou greatly reachest it with the rivers of God, which is full of water. Thou preparest them, them can and when when thou hast so provided for it he tells us there that is God that he provides water he provides bread he provides everything all things are provided in your life in Jesus name this year will be different this year there will be surplus in your family surplus in your place of work and surplus in everything you touch in Jesus name Psalm 78, I'm reading here from verse 20. 78 verse 20. Behold, he smote the rock that the waters gushed out and the streams overflowed. The stream overflowed. Do you know that there's going to be an overflowing of blessing in your life this year? Turn to the right, there will be blessing. Turn to the left, there will be blessing. March forward, there will be blessing. Everywhere you turn this year, there will be overflowing of blessing, outpouring of the blessings of the Lord in your life, in Jesus' name. It tells us in Joshua chapter 1, Joshua chapter 1, blessing upon blessing. That's mine. I said that's mine. That's just true in Jesus' name. Joshua chapter 1 verse 3, every place the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you as I said unto Moses. 
every place every place that the soul of my foot shall tread upon the lord has given it unto me can you read that every place the soul of my foot shall tread upon the lord has given unto me verse 5 there shall no man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life as i was with moses so i will be with thee i will not fail thee nor forsake thee i will not fail thee nor forsake thee i said i will not fail thee nor forsake thee oh somebody said joshua was lucky how wonderful how lucky joshua was see the promise god has given to joshua my question is was that job for joshua i said was it only for joshua it is for me i said it is for me where are you i said it is for me look at hebrews look at hebrews hebrews chapter hebrews chapter 13 hebrews chapter 13 i'm reading verse 5 let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have for he has said i will never leave thee nor forsake thee. the same thing what he gave joshua is giving to us in hebrews chapter 13 thank god it is mine i said thank god it is mine so that in verse 6 we may boldly say so that in verse 6 i may boldly say the lord is my helper and i will not fear what man shall do unto me it has happened already we're looking at romans chapter 8 romans chapter 8 verse 32 all things are mine i said all things are mine i said all things are mine Romans chapter 8, you believe it, it will be confirmed in Jesus' name. Be it unto you according to your faith. Romans chapter 8, verse 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely, freely, fully completely give us how many things all things that's what i said all things we can live our lives every day in possession of all things all things for the spirit all things for the soul all things for the body all things for the family all things for career all things for the inner man all things for every part of our lives because it says he will freely fully completely give us all things all things to enjoy they are yours you'll never miss them you'll not miss them in jesus name matthew chapter 6 verse 33 matthew chapter 6 and verse 33 all things are yours all things are yours in the land of plenty in the land of supernatural wonders the provision of the lord the, and the, the, the promise of the lord it says in verse 33 matthew chapter 6 but seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things wonderful all these things praise the lord this is mine i said this is mine all these things shall be added unto you when you come to the lord addition in your life no subtraction in jesus name addition plus addition plus addition plus addition will be in your life all the days of your life in jesus name mark chapter 9 mark chapter 9 verse 23 for the believers for those who are trusting the lord for those who have confidence implicit faith on wavering faith on bending on changing on compromising faith in the lord confidence in the lord mark chapter 9 verse 23 jesus said unto him if thou canst believe praise the lord i believe i said praise the lord i believe i believe god that he cannot lie praise the lord i believe i believe jesus christ is faithful he cannot deny himself 
praise the Lord. I believe. I believe the word of the Lord. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but not one jot or tittle shall pass out of the word of God. Praise the Lord. I believe. And the Lord said that if we believe, if thou canst believe all things, all things, all things are possible to him that believeth that heritage inheritance of those who believe will be yours in jesus name first corinthians chapter 3 verse 21 all things all literally all things all things belonging unto you all things all things are yours he tells us in first corinthians chapter 3 verse 21 therefore let no man glory in men for all things are yours for all things are yours what you need for your body to be whole all things are yours to be healthy sustained mighty powerful energetic not getting tired all things are yours and then to live a long life a useful life a purposeful life a profitable life all things are yours in your spiritual life to live holy to live sanctified and to live victorious over sin over temptation every time praise the lord all things are yours in your career in your profession making progress every time praise the lord all things are yours they'll be yours in jesus name second peter chapter one second peter chapter one verse three according as his divine power has given unto us all things see that over and over in the word of god we can live in the land of spiritual supernatural wonders all the days of our lives from the beginning of the year to the end of the year from the first month to the last month from the first day to the very last day this year is a year of perfection for you a year of power for you a year of exploits for you in jesus name you wake up in the morning you say lord i thank you today because it's another day when all things are mine for spirit soul and body all things are mine for myself personally and my family all things are mine for my working place and my profession all things are mine for my career for my business all things are mine anywhere I go everywhere i go all things are mine for my health for my spiritual life all things are mine for my spiritual my ministerial life all things are mine look at that verse 3 again according as his divine power according as his divine power not according to the world economy not according to whether there is job or there's no job not according to level of education no education according to his divine power he has given unto us already all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and to virtue and then he says in verse 4 whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises those promises are yours already i said they're yours already from now on you can expect a miracle every day you can expect a wonder every day you can expect the supernatural every day because it says whereby they are given unto us great and precious promises that by these ye may be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through laws you'll escape all the sin all the harassment of the devil in the world in jesus name ezekiel chapter 34 verse 26 ezekiel chapter 34 verse 26 the land of supernatural wonders living there abiding there dwelling there perpetually constantly living there the provision we have in that land of spiritual supernatural wonders it says in Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 26 and I will make them and the places round about my healing blessing and I will cause the shower to come down in the season read the rest of that verse for yourself there shall be showers of blessing upon your family there shall be showers of blessing 
upon your business there shall be showers of blessing in your local church there shall be showers of blessing all throughout this year there shall be showers of blessing from the beginning of this year to the end of this year there shall be showers of blessing and then for you for your children for everybody around you for your loved ones there shall be showers of blessing in jesus name ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 11 ezekiel chapter 36 verse 11 and i will multiply upon you man and beast and there and they shall increase and bring forth fruit and i will settle you after your old estate and do better unto you than at your beginnings and do better unto you than at your beginnings and do better 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 unto you than at your beginnings in jesus name and ye shall know that i am the lord he'll be the lord he'll reign supreme in your life in jesus name point number two now power for limitless supernatural wonders no limit in your life this year anything you are not able to do before get out and go and do it go out and go and do it it will be done in jesus name every hill will become a valley before you it will be thrown it will be thrown down and all the mountains that hinder you from success hindered you in the past from this very day they will not hinder you anymore in jesus name power for limitless supernatural wonders i'm not weak anymore i am strong i said i'm not weak anymore i said i'm not weak anymore I am strong. You'll be strong in Jesus' name. You say it and it will be yours. I said you say it, it will be yours. First Chronicles chapter 29. First Chronicles chapter 29. I'm reading from verse 12. First Chronicles 29 verse 12. Both riches and honor come of thee. Here the writer was saying, Riches will come unto me through you. Honor will come unto me through you. Both riches and honor come of thee. They will come to you in Jesus' name. Thou reignest over all. And in thine hand is power and might. In the hand of the Lord is power and might. You will exchange your weakness for the power of the Lord. You'll exchange your lack for the sufficiency of the Lord. All that weakness is gone. All that, you know, living a life as if there's no spine, no courage, no strength, no abilities to stand, no skill. All that is gone in Jesus' name. In thine hand is power and might, and in thine hand is see to make great and to give strength unto all. To give strength unto all. To give strength unto all. Brother, there strength has come your way. My sister, there strength is coming your way already. Psalm 62 verse 11. Psalm 62. Reading from verse 11. God has spoken once. Twice have I heard this. The power belongeth unto God. The power belongs unto God. The power belongs unto God. He didn't need the power for himself. There's no Satan in heaven to conquer. There are no evil spirits in heaven to conquer. There's no lack in heaven to supply. There's no difficulty, no sickness, nothing. Nothing negative in heaven. All those problems are here. And God possesses that power for you on your behalf. And that power will work in your life on your behalf in Jesus' name. God has spoken once. And twice have I had this. The power belongs unto God. Psalm 68. Verse 35. Psalm 68, verse 35. O God, thou art terrible. Out of thy holy places, 
the God of Israel is he that giveth strength and power unto his people. Blessed be God. I thought you'll say amen. He giveth strength and power unto his people. He giveth strength and power unto his people. What are those people? He giveth strength and power unto his people. He giveth strength and power unto me. I said he giveth strength and power unto me. He giveth strength and power unto me. He giveth strength and power unto me. He has given you have it in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40. I'm reading here from verse 20, from verse 28. 40, 28. Has I not known? Has I not heard? That the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth, what does he give? Tell me out loud. He giveth power to the faith. You have no reason, you have no excuse to remain faith because. If you have been fainting before you came here tonight, power is coming to your whole personality tonight in Jesus' name. He giveth power to the faith, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall do what? Renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and they shall not be weary. They shall walk and they shall not faint. I thought you'd say amen. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 32 What do you need from verse 17? Jeremiah 32, verse 17. Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretch out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Nothing in my life is too hard for God. No enemy in your life is too hard for God to deal with. No problem in your life is too hard for God to deal with. Because he made the heavens and the earth by the power of his might. And the word of God assures us that nothing on earth, nothing under the earth, nothing in the sky, nothing above the sky, nothing in the spirit world, nothing anywhere, it's too hard for God to deal with. Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1. Verse 35. Luke chapter 1. Verse 35. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also, that holy thing that shall be born of thee. Something incredible, impossible, improbable. That holy thing that shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of the Highest. Verse 37. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to to thy word. Can you say that? Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. Can you say that again? Be it unto me according to thy word. Can you say that again? Say it with assurance. Wake up and say it. 
the word of the Lord will be fulfilled in your life in Jesus name it will be fulfilled on your children on your wife on your husband in your business according to the word of the Lord it will be unto you in Jesus name we're looking at Luke chapter 9 verse 1 Luke chapter 9 verse 1 in Luke chapter 9 verse 1 what he gave the disciples the apostles is given unto you given unto me then he called the 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils how many devils how many devils he gave them power he has given us power over all devils and oh and to cure diseases that's why i'm sure tonight any kind of remnant of sickness, disease, infirmity, deformity remaining there will clear it away before you go in Jesus' name. Power, power, power belongs to the people of God in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Behold, I give unto you, what? Power to tread on serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt me. And nothing shall by any means hurt me. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Amen. I pray that God will fulfill this in every one of our lives in Jesus' name. Now, before you pray tonight, let me remind you of, I am sure you know this, but I'll tell you again in Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians chapter 3. This is yours. Remember this when you are praying because everything you are asking the Lord tonight is coming. Everything will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Now unto him that is able to do. Is your God able? I said, is your God able? Before the Red Sea, is your God able? Around the Jericho walls, is your God able? Before River Jordan, is your God able? In the furnace of Nebuchadnezzar, is your God able? My God is able. I said, my God is able. When you are sick, is your God able to heal? When you are oppressed, is he able to deliver? When you are poor, is he able to provide? My God is able now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that walketh in us. That the power is inside us and is working. And tonight it will work in every life in Jesus' name. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages world without end amen it is done in Jesus name remember what we are talking about living in the land of supernatural wonders that's it living there living there living there not just going in and coming out not having the blessing one day and then for the rest of the year 364 days remaining then there's no blessing anymore every day every hour every moment 24 7 every week every month all the days of your life the life of heaven on earth it is happening already i said it is happening already but you know to get into that land not as a visitor you know sometimes when you are visiting some countries they give you visa they say you can visit and they give you a few days to visit but this one now you are going to live in the land that is flowing with milk and honey when those children of israel when they go to the land of canaan it's it's different from those 12 spies they went in there 12 of them they came back again they didn't have the visa to remain there at that time. And so they were not able to enter. And then at the time of Joshua, he sent out two people. They went in, they came back again. But now we're about to enter and we're going to stay. 
I said, we're about to enter, we're going to stay. Every wall will fall down before us. Every river will be divided before us. All those Amalekites and all those Jebusites, they'll be defeated before us in Jesus' name. All the Gibeonites, we're going to overcome them in Jesus' name. Get ready now, we're about to enter. I say, get ready now, we're about to enter. Who will enter with me? Because I am entering, I am entering, I am entering. Who will enter? You will enter in Jesus' name. But now, your passport. Say, my passport. Say, give me my passport. And that's how you get passport. Just give me my passport. That's how you get passport. Amen. Now help me to spell passport P A double S P O R T. Passport. Shout passport. P for prayer. You know, if you're going to enter this land and you're going to remain in that land, that is, remain in the land of signs and wonders, remain in the land of supernatural wonders, prayer, 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 and you will pray. I said you will pray, and I'm telling you, your prayer will be answered in Jesus' name. Now, when we talk about prayer, there is prayer for bread. There is prayer for water. There is prayer for ordinary things. There is prayer for everyday, everyday supply. But then there is prayer for the supernatural. There is prayer for the miracles and the wonders. There is prayer for something that never happened before that is going to happen in a supernatural way. And that's the kind of prayer I'm talking about now. Look at it in James chapter 5. James chapter 5 verse 17. Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are. And he prayed. And he prayed. And he prayed earnestly that he might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. That's prayer. It's not the ordinary prayer. This one is earnest prayer. This one is fervent prayer. This one is a prayer of faith. This one is prayer according to the according to the word. This one is a kind of prayer for something that never happened in that nation before. It's a prayer affecting a city, a prayer affecting a state, a prayer affecting a nation, affecting that whole nation for three and a half years. He prayed, and there was no dew, there was no rain. Look at the next verse, verse 18. And he prayed again. And he prayed again. And he prayed again. And the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth a fruit when you pray like that on the way to get your passport p for prayer a for action a for action you see there are people who pray they never take action they never take action and god said moses why are you crying unto me take action tell the people march forward action and then if they said joshua why are you lying on your face there is sin in the camp action spot out the Achan root out the action root out the Achan action and then go around Jericho wall six times on the seven days seven times action and then we find the Lord Jesus Christ telling the people pour water into that into those vessels and then take them out now to the master of ceremony action whatsoever he says unto you do it action you see, your passport will not be complete without that action, without the A. I'm looking at Luke, Luke chapter 5. Action, Luke chapter 5. It is the action that brings the supernatural. Action, action. There will be action in your life in Jesus' name. I did hear you, I did hear you. Amen. In Luke chapter 5, I'm reading from verse 4. And now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draught and simon answering said unto him master we have toiled all the night and i've taken nothing nevertheless at thy word i will let down the net action action we got nothing there's no fish there we toiled all the night 
everywhere is empty but at thy word at thy word i will let down the net and when they had, when they had this done they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break net breaking miracle the lord will give you in jesus name passport p for what p for what prayer a for what action s huh, this is wonderful i said this is wonderful if you're going to have this supernatural thing i'm talking about i'm not talking about i got healed from headache wonderful i'm not talking about my stomach was aching me i got healed wonderful i'm not talking about i had this bad pain i couldn't bend now i got well wonderful i'm talking about something supernatural i'm talking about living there from my monday to sunday and then living there from one week to the other living there for month, all through the year that satan will never get will not get near your doorstep in jesus name and the moment you open your mouth like this, supernatural power will come out in Jesus' name. If that is the kind of supernatural life you want to live, that's what I'm talking about. As for, let me show you, Joshua, Joshua, Joshua chapter 3. Joshua chapter 3. Joshua chapter 3, verse 5. Joshua chapter 3, verse 5. Are you there? I said, are you there? Joshua chapter 3. If you are there, can I see your hand up? Uh-huh, very good. Looks like you are ready for your passport. I said you are getting ready for your passport. Joshua chapter 3 verse 5, And Joshua said unto the people, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. As for sanctification, as for sanctification, you will be sanctified. I said you will be sanctified. And untold numbers of miracles will be in your life unending numbers of miracles will be in your life in jesus name holiness and healing they go together holiness and heaven they go together holiness and deliverance they go together holiness and dominion they go together holiness and power they go together sanctify yourselves for tomorrow the lord will do wonders in your life the next S now, another S, another S, First Corinthians chapter 12. First Corinthians chapter 12. And I'm reading here, I'm reading here from verse 7. First Corinthians chapter 12. First Corinthians chapter 12. Uh, uh, what gives us this kind of supernatural life that from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, supernatural. You turn here, supernatural. You move here, supernatural. Wonders and wonders and wonders every time. In First Corinthians chapter 12, I'm reading from verse 7. It says, But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with them. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, and to another the word of knowledge by the same spirit and to another faith by the same spirit and then it says to another gifts of healing by the same spirit gifts of healing gifts of healing i pray that this gift will be upon your life in jesus name and then to another working of miracles to another prophecy and to another design of spirits and to another diverse kinds of tongues and to another interpretation of tongues but all these work at that self same spirit dividing to every man every man every man severally as he will i will have my own i said i will have my own that s is spirituality 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 p for prayer a for action s for sanctification s for spirituality the next p now perseverance the next p perseverance the next P, perseverance. I will not give up. I said, I will not give up. You will not give up in Jesus' name. Asking and asking and asking again and asking again and seeking and seeking and seeking and knocking and knocking until this door will be opened. I guess this your door will be opened in Jesus' name. We're looking at Genesis chapter 32, perseverance. You see, the passport to get into the land of miracles, into the land of wonders, that every day of your life, healing and wholeness, healing and health, happiness, joy, 
provision, prosperity, supernatural. Chapter 32 of Genesis. I'm reading from verse 24. It says, And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his tie. And the hollow of Jacob's tie was out of joint. And he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go. For the day breaketh. Here is the language of the person that will live in the land of supernatural wonders. Here is the language of the one that will abide there perpetually. And then, and he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. Perseverance. 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 And that blessing will be yours in Jesus' name. Oh, obedience. Oh, obedience. Oh, what is that? Tell me, tell me. Tell me. Isaiah chapter 1. Isaiah chapter 1. This year, I am in for supernatural wonders. This year, I'm, I, I'm in for something permanent and something perpetual because I've got the secret. I know how to get the passport. I know where the passport is. The passport is in prayer. It's in action. It's in sanctification. It's in spirituality. It's in perseverance. It's in obedience. Isaiah chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 19. It says, if you be willing and obedient, that's me, O Lord, I'll be willing. I said, I'll be willing. I will be obedient. If you be willing and obedient, he shall eat the good of the land. This year, every day, you will eat the good of this land. It will not just get to the unbelievers. It will not just get to ordinary nominal church goers. It will get to you in Jesus' name. Obedience is the key. Obedience to the word of the Lord. Obedience to the will of the Lord. Obedience to the commandments of the Lord. Obedience to the Lord, to your own Lord, to your Lord and Master. What he commands you, whatsoever he says unto you, do it. It is that obedience that will make you to live perpetually and permanently in the land of miracles, signs, wonders, supernatural wonders. Are is revelation. Are is revelation. Look at any of those people in the Bible that live perpetually on the miracle land, that live perpetually in the miracle realm. Moses, he had revelation. Elijah, he had revelation, he had the voice of the Lord. Elisha, he had revelation, and think about Isaiah, revelation. Think about Jeremiah and Ezekiel, revelation. Think about Jesus Christ himself, the revelation of God, the spoken word, the living word. And think about the apostles, and think about Paul, the apostle, the revelation. He had revelation, the revelation of the promise of God for you, of the provision of the Lord for you. The Lord will reveal it to your heart in Jesus' name. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 9 and from verse 10. But as it is written, I has not seen, no ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has provided, has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them unto us. But God has revealed them unto us untold things unknown things incredible things superlative things things so high and so great so far beyond natural eyes have never seen them he says god has revealed them unto us by his spirit for the spirit searches all things yea the deep things of god t transformation everybody say transformation i can't hear you transformation Say that out loud. In Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12. I'm reading from verse 2. Romans chapter 12. We're looking at verse 2. In Romans chapter 12 verse 2. And be not conformed to this world. Transformation. Transformation. This is how the supernatural wonders will be upon your life. And saturate your life. And go on with your life permanently. It says, be not conformed to this world. Don't talk like the world. Don't think like the world. 
don't behave like the world don't practice the practices of the world don't follow the principles of the world don't eat like the world don't drink like the world don't behave like the world it says and be not conformed to this world you know the world the world is carnal the world is natural they don't have spiritual eyes to see spiritual ears to hear spiritual minds to understand they never hear the voice of god and if you're going to be hearing the voice of god if you're going to live in the supernatural you will not be conformed the politics of this world will not be your lifestyle all the methods and all the carnal practices of the world will not be your lifestyle and be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that she may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God you'll prove that in your life in Jesus name I will have the passport I said I will have the passport P for P for prayer A for A for action S for S for sanctification another S for spirituality and P for perseverance O for obedience R for revelation T for it will be yours in Jesus name and now as you have your passport just present it before the Lord and you'll say yes I, I see your name there I see your picture there enter in I said enter in how many people are entering in right now enter in why don't you stand up stand up stand up and you tell the Lord this is the time for prayer prayer and action sanctification spirituality and then perseverance and obedience revelation and transformation talk to the Lord in prayer and say Lord this is my just I want to live in that land I want to live in that land I want to live in the land that is flowing with milk and honey live in the land of supernatural wonders I want to hear you pray I want to hear you pray otherwise where is your passport if there's no prayer Give me the passport. Give me the passport. Be for prayer. Elijah prayed honestly, 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 fervently, honestly and fervently, perseveringly, with faith on the word of God. Tell the Lord. Let your prayer be brave based on the promises of God. He cannot fail. He will not fail. His promises are yes and amen in Christ. Make sure you are saved, born again, your sins forgiven, washed away in the blood of the Lamb. Prayer. Prayer. And then action. 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 What he tells you to do the commandments he gives action lord at thy word i will lord at thy word i will sanctification that holiness without which no man shall see the Lord sanctify yourselves for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you sanctified heart sanctified tongue sanctified look sanctified behavior sanctified interaction sanctified conversation a life of signs and wonders permanent perpetual constant continual
spirituality desire those spiritual gifts word of wisdom word of knowledge the standing of spirits gifts of faith gifts of healing gift of walking miracles prophecy interpretation of tongues tongues spirituality you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria until the uttermost part of the earth spirituality let all carnality be cancelled out of your life. Be spiritual. Your soul, your spirit, your mind, your heart, your life. Walking in the spirit. Living by the spirit. Perseverance. Not getting so tired easily. Perseverance. Jacob tarried and wrestled all night in prayer. Me business with God. Perseverance in prayer. I will not let you go except you bless me. I will not let you go except you bless me. Obedience. If you be willing and obedient, obeying the commandments of the Lord. If you be willing and obedient, he shall eat the good of the land. Revelation. He has revealed unto us. Revealed unto us. Revealed unto us. What eyes have not seen. What ears have not heard. What has never entered into the hearts of any man. The things which God has prepared for them that love him. And transformation transformed life transformed tongue transformed behavior transformed attitude get your passport come and enter in And live there perpetually. Living. 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 In the land. Of supernatural wonders. You can live there perpetually. Every day of the year, from the beginning of the year to the very end of the year, experiencing miracle every day. Enjoying miracle every day. Possessing your possession every day. Supernatural. Supernatural. It's there, it's there. But you see the conditions there. Prayer. Action, sanctification, spirituality, perseverance, obedience, revelation, transformation. Bless the Lord is for you. The better life, brighter, the bigger life is for you. 
the supernatural the supernatural it is for you In Jesus' name we pray. Those who are still awake, wake up the people that are sleeping. In Jesus' name we pray. You are waking up, you are waking up. Maybe I can try and wake you up myself. I said, in Jesus' name we pray. I'm going to live in that land. I said, I'm going to live in that land. Where are you? Where are you? Don't dream, don't dream, don't dream. Open your eyes, open your mind, open your heart. Let's go into this land of Canaan. Let's go into the land of me, flow with milk and honey. In the land of supernatural wonders, I will be there. I said I will be there. No sickness there, I'll be there. No oppression there, I'll be there. No attack there, I will be there. No poverty there, I'll be there. No brain problem there, I will be there. No failure there, I will be there. No defeat there, I will be there. I'm going in there for my success. I'm going in there for my deliverance. I'm going in there for my healing. I'm going in there. I'm going to have permanent blessing in Jesus' name. We're going to pray together now. If you are ready to enter, 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 enter. If you are good, if you are ready to enter, you are going to enjoy the healing of God. The power of God, the provision of God, I will enter. I will enter. I will enter. Uh, look at your neighbors there, some people there who bend the head. And while we are entering, don't if we leave them behind, when will they enter again? Wake them up and pull them up. Come on, let us enter. Tell them, come on, let us enter. Tell them, tell them, tell them. Let us enter. Let us enter. We're going to enter together in Jesus' name. We will not leave anybody behind. Every boy, every girl, every youth, every man, every woman, every brother, every sister, every worker, every leader. We're going to enter the land of the supernatural in Jesus' name. I pronounce the blessing of God upon your life. Deliverance upon your life. Healing upon your life. Dominion upon your life. Victory, victory, victory upon your life. Success upon your life. You will enjoy the blessings of the Lord in Jesus' name. Keep those hands up. Make it as permanent as you can. As high as you can. The higher you want to go. Because this year you are going higher. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because of the privilege you are putting the promise that we can go into the land of supernatural wonders and abide there and live there and remain there for the whole of the year for the rest of our lives. Lord, we are the generation of the people to enter in. I pray for every brother here, every sister here, we will enter into that land of victory in Jesus' name. No Egyptian will enter with us. No oppressor will enter with us. No attack will enter with us. No sickness will enter with us. All those enemies of progress, we leave them behind. They will not enter with us in Jesus' name. Sorrow will not enter with us. Sickness will not enter with us. Shame will not enter with us. Death will not enter with us. Lord, I pray you make your people death free in Jesus' name. Abundant provision, glorious promises, better things of life. Do for everyone in Jesus' name. A definite miracle for everyone. A definite supernatural touch for everyone in Jesus' name. Lord, Draw your people inside the land of supernatural wonders. Close the door behind them. That no evil will be able to come upon their lives anymore in Jesus' name. From this night, from this day, you are blessed. 
Blessings will multiply in your life. Victory will multiply in your life. You go from deliverance to dominion in Jesus' name. You'll enjoy the blessings of God in your life. Sorrow and tears and crying will flee away. Joy, happiness, and laughter will be the portion of your life for the rest of your life in Jesus' name. Abide in the land. Abide in the land. Abide in the land. And your testimonies will never stop in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. I am blessed. I am blessed. Tell the person by your side, don't just speak to the air. Tell somebody, tell somebody now, tell somebody now, I am blessed. May your blessings remain permanent in Jesus' name.